was that? I don't know. Get dressed and let's go see. Fuck! Go! Whenever you see a fire like that. Run! Yes, I nearly frenzied. Oh, I'm suddenly hungry. Meet you at the president's. Sure. I can't believe I had a hunger for humans. I was lucky to feed off that police horse tied up outside a bar. Oh, Avogadro already texted the others about the blood bank fire. I guess I'd better head over to meet the president. Seeing that mobile blood bank on fire got me hungry. I saw a sign for this yummy looking club, but the line was around the block and they didn't want to be late. Which club was it? Blue Velvet. I bet Sal knows something about that club. I'm sure you're right. Glad we're not picky eaters. Thanks for waiting. Let's go see. The President. Greetings. I hear you'll be settling into some new apartments. It sounds like you'll be staying here a while. Chicago has the largest population of kindred per capita in the world. The only way this is possible is by keeping the masquerade. We have zero tolerance for sloppy feeding. What do you guys know about Gary, Indiana? I'm sorry, Mr. President. We don't really know that much at all. It's part of the greater Chicago metropolitan area. Chicago owes a lot to Gary. The first steel frame skyscraper in the world was built in Chicago with steel from Gary, Indiana. How the mighty have fallen. The steel market collapsed, redlining, white flight, then lenders denied mortgages to blacks only to turn around and abandon homes because it was cheaper than foreclosing on them. 40% of homes in Gary are abandoned. The city's infrastructure is crumbling. Unemployment is up. Twice, Gary had the distinction of being the murder capital of America. Residents claim that the only reason the murder rate went down is that there's no one left to kill. Old man Modius wanted to be Prince of Chicago, but he was better suited to handle Gary. Juggler calls himself the Baron of the Anarchs in Gary, and he makes noises about coming for Chicago. Modius has kept the Anarchs engaged among Gary's abandoned neighborhoods at night. It's a war zone. Fortunately, the Anarchs of Chicago are not having any of it. They just want to give labor speeches and hang out at bookstores or perform political hip hop, which I applaud. But what I cannot abide is an attack on Chicago. Tonight, there was an explosion at the blood drive trailer next to the blood bank. I hear that there were some fatalities. I suspect it was the Gary Anarchs, but need more evidence. Gift, you have a good nose. And Darth, you know about chemistry and explosives, so I want you two to get as much information as possible about the explosion. Write up a report and put it in my mail slot. Have a good night, and I'll see you tomorrow evening. This is ridiculous. Anarchs, which are reportedly mostly brewers, are hanging out at bookstores. And writing reports. Well, as long as we don't have to deal with any more cornfields, I'm good. Okay, everyone. Evie, you said you'd help me get some art supplies tonight. So we're headed to see Sal to find a good shop. If you have any questions for him, come along. I've got some questions. Me too. What's going on? We're hoping you could give us some local advice. Oh, but did you hear about the blood bank explosion near Avogadro's condo? Sorry, I don't know anything about the blood bank explosion. Good luck with that. Personally, I really need a high quality textile store for my fabric art. Let me tell you about this fabric store. The front of the store is for the rubes but the back warehouse is exclusively for designers and has top quality fabric, trim, and accessories. It's called Textile Discount Outlet, but don't let the name fool you. Jean-Paul Gautier stopped there. It's located at 2021 West 21st Street. They close about 20 minutes ago. Oh, Evie, they're closed. That makes it easier for us. Good, then take the cab to the Lower West Side and have fun. On our way to meet the president, we passed a sign for Club Blue Velvet. I got some strange vibes off the sign. What can you tell me about the place? The Blue Velvet, it's got a long history. 
Anyway, great live music, very popular with the mortals. The line often goes around the block. Kindred ain't getting in without an invitation. Don't even think about trying to sneak in as a mortal. They'll clock you every time. Tell you what, I got two invites. To get in, you got to take these two invites to the front line, skip the box office, and go right up to the doorman, Ian Gibson, okay? He'll take your invitations, look you up and down, and then maybe he'll let you in. Don't argue with him, and don't try to bribe, charm, or dominate him. But after he lets you in, it's a good idea to tip him. That way, before you leave, he'll make sure to give you the invitations to return. And Robin, it's your lucky night. Tonight is open mic night. Make sure you feed discreetly. What happens if you try and get in without an invitation? Like I said, don't even try it. You won't get a second chance. Is it true that the big thing for the Anarchs in Chicago is to do labor speeches and... Have you ever seen a labor speech in Chicago? Anywhere else it would be called a riot. The president tasked Darth and I with investigating the blood bank explosion and to write a report. Is he messing with us? Or is that something he does? He's serious. If you find leads, you gain his favor and better jobs. The report also becomes part of the permanent record. Good luck with that. I gotta run. Have a good night. Susie, it was nice seeing you again. Likewise. I'm glad we got this Uber XL. I'm glad I got this Cybergnosis cuff from Robert. It'll come in handy turning off the camera as an alarm. Got it. Nice work, Evie. The fire's out, but there's still a lot of investigators around. Don't worry. I'll have a chat with the inspectors while you sniff around. Then I'll sneak over and join you. Thanks a lot. What can you tell me about the explosion and fire? One daughter and a phlebotomist were killed. Two other people are injured and are being treated at the hospital. We cannot rule out this being in an in intentional. You've done well. Thanks. Wow. So many wonderful things. Um, we're gonna need two Uber XLs. The battalion chief couldn't rule out our son. But I definitely smell accelerant. What did you find? Well, I found some strange waffle stomper footprints on the asphalt. They seem to be made with rust dust or powder. I followed them around the parking lot and I found this. It's a small remote. That was likely used as a detonator. Let's go write that report. Your performance was wonderful. Thank you. You really need to come here and perform more often. My name's Susan Allen. I'm Robin Rain. Before we get into the business of this meeting, I have a few things I want to say. I founded this Vampire Hunters Society for the purpose of finding and destroying the evil satanic creatures called vampires. Chris was the first hunter to join me in this cause. Unfortunately, his gout is acting up and he was unable to be here today. I know God is real because I have seen demonic vampires. We all have. I feel the powerful presence of the Almighty and hope and pray. He gives me strength to destroy and defeat these devils, I mean evil vampires. I know that sometimes imperfect and flawed vessels like me are called to Exact justice and vengeance. Mercy is for humans, not vampires. Yet, Morpheus was crying out to me for mercy. She was so innocent, young and frightened. She had not asked to become a vampire. She did not know what she had become, she didn't understand her urges to feed and kill. She did not believe she could have done the vile things she thought she imagined. Sitting next to Morpheus, I thought of my poor, innocent boy to me. He was also attacked by these satanic creatures. The blood in his body sucked completely dry. He must have suffered horribly. 
I know as a mother I want my child's torment to be ended as quickly and gently as possible. I could not bear the thought of him becoming a vampire. Nor could I allow the torment of Morpheus to continue any longer. So I embraced her. And God acted through me to give her relief. I am comforted to know she rests in the arms of Jesus with my Timmy. Matthew 19 14 But Jesus said, Suffer little children, and forbid them not, to come unto me, for of such is the kingdom of heaven. Even so, I think we need to find a safe way to interrogate vampires. I've offered a basement for interrogation. Lear can make sure we only stake vampires. Then we can chain them up in the basement with heavy Home Depot chains. I can probably coat them in silver, in case that helps. We should go to one step beyond. Have one of you ladies dress like Morpheus and ask around for a clove cigarette. That should lead us to the vampire that turned her. I'll do it. I wish I had my vampire detection glasses. But I've got my body armor and stun gun. And you guys to back me up. I'm more comfortable with immediate termination of vampires, so I'll be ready if he tries to harm anyone or escape. Hopefully you all won't abandon me and Aiden in the club. As long as we're on the same page, you'll be in the loop.